Hello. I am so excited for what's about to happen that I was like, I gotta film it. It's just too monumental to not. I got these like knockoff Octo Buddies and they just do not stick. I'm having a really hard time with them and it's quite annoying. See, it's going down. I truly don't know what it is. Anyway, I am going to Starbucks to get my first pumpkin spice iced chai of the season. I'm so excited. It has been a long time coming, a whole year. It has been over a hundred degrees in LA for the past like two weeks. It's This week was finally like nice, like 80 degrees every day, beautiful, perfect. We love to see it. It is currently 69 degrees outside, gloomy, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like pretty gloomy out and the perfect morning for me to ingest this delicious special treat. TJ is still sleeping. It's like nine o'clock. It's Saturday and I always feel bad getting him out of bed on the weekends because he gets up at like six, six thirty every day. So he needs some time to sleep in, but I could not wait any longer. I was like, I need to go now. I've been up since like eight and I just start getting antsy. <laughs> I'm like, okay, like I need to do something. So I was like, I'm gonna go get my coffee, go home, catch up on the housewives that I missed this week and wait for him to wake up. And then like, maybe we'll get breakfast or something. Last night was so nice. We went and picked up Roberta's, which is our favorite pizza, other than the one we make at home. It's so good. It's like a company out of New York. So, you know, it's good. And then we went to a natural wine store and picked up some wine. We ate in the backyard by the fire pit. TJ set up a projector and we watched Tell Me Lies. We had an episode to catch up on and it was so good. And then this movie called Dee Dee or Die Die. I don't remember. I was so tired by the time we started watching that. I definitely fell asleep towards the end, but I really liked it. I had never heard of it before, but it was really cute and funny and so nostalgic. We don't really have any plans today. TJ is playing at a rave tonight. He was supposed to play a festival tomorrow, but it got canceled because where the festival was taking place, there is like huge fires happening. And I think that it was projected that like they were gonna get bigger. And so I think they canceled it on Wednesday, which sucks. They were really excited. They had a really good set time, but so Insomniac, the company that was putting on the festival, they're doing fundraiser shows throughout the course of the weekend. And so the boys are playing tonight at the Hollywood Palladium, which is so cool. So we're gonna go to that and I'm excited. During the day, we don't have a thing planned. I think TJ's gonna try to figure out some stuff in the ADU in terms of the camera equipment. He started setting stuff up yesterday and it seems like in my mind, I was like, he's gonna keep doing this tomorrow. Oh my God, the ugliest cyber truck. Like, tell me you have a small dick without telling me. They are the ugliest cars. And I hate when people like customize them. Ugh. Here she is in all her glory. I'm so excited to look at that cold foam. That was crazy. I haven't been to Starbucks in so long, but they have these machines now that look like they make the foam. Pretty interesting. If you work at Starbucks, like please tell me what that is all about. It was too busy in there for me to ask. Otherwise, you know I would have. Oh my God, this, it smells milky. <laughs> I got it with oat milk. This is the Grande Pumpkin Cream Chai. It's my favorite drink. I think they made it like official on the menu last year, maybe the year before, but I would always get an iced chai latte with pumpkin in it. It was like my dream come true when they added it as a menu item because then you don't have to like customize everything on the app. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, I mean. <laughs> Come on, people. This is just the best drink. It's pretty milky today, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna drink the shit out of that. Oh yeah, nothing like dessert for breakfast. Mmm, yum! A table for the ADU just got delivered. It was so hard to find a coffee table. The space is really small, and I didn't also wanna spend a lot of money because it's, not like my main home. I got this on Amazon and it was like 200 bucks. That was like, 
about as much as I was willing to spend. I think it was like 250, but like everything online, I was like, Jesus Christ, like why are coffee tables so expensive? Even on like Wayfair and places like that. But to find a cute coffee table, that crap is expensive. So I got this one, I thought it was pretty cool. I think it'll be perfect. I literally think I just have to screw the lights on top of it and like, that's it. It didn't really come with any directions. So I don't know. Screw this as far as it goes and then screw it on top as far as it goes. And there's just four little legs you attach on. I got black. I wanted to get the white one, but I got black just because the couches I have are white and then the rug that's coming is a lighter colors, like sandy almost. And so I didn't want it to be too sterile looking in there. Even black will just stay like cleaner. I think. Honestly, it's pretty heavy. I was taking the like base out of the package and I had to put my back into it. I'll be honest. It was pretty heavy, but I got that couch out of that room so I can do anything. I will never tell myself I can't do something ever again. I'm also extremely competitive. So when I was doing that, it was like um, almost like a you can do this. You're competing versus yourself to do this. I think this is called like a cloud table. I feel like they're pretty popular right now. They're having their moment. But to, you can find this on other sites like All Modern or places like that. The table was like over a thousand dollars. So I was like, I'm just gonna get a cutie little dupe on Amazon. And I feel like the size will be perfect for the space. Let's stand her up. Oh, okay. she's heavy. Oh, this is so cute. There you go. It's really short, but I think she's so cute. Wow, cutie cute. I need to talk you through my thoughts right now. So this is what our current podcast setup looks like. Let me show you. Okay, the problem is this table, don't mind my nails, I'm getting them done tomorrow, does not hold the microphone stands because all of the weight is on the middle and not on like the four corners. So I found a table, this one, that I was like, this is so perfect. And then we could put like the roadcaster down here. However, it'll be like $400. I think I'm gonna go to Ikea and get this <laughs> because it is $13. And is, like, obviously this West Elm table is so beautiful, but it's just not necessary. Like you're barely gonna see the table. I also wanna find one that's a little bit lower as well. And the one from Ikea is only 17 inches tall. And that is the same height as where Carly and I are like physically sitting on the couch where our butts sit. So it would be a bit lower. So you're not gonna see it anyway. And the one from West Elm, I think is like 22 inches high. So it would be a little bit Bit higher. I just think like I need to get this one from Ikea. My only thing now is though figuring out what color. So these are the options. We've got this like, I wish it was just black. Like I would want it to be black so it would just match the microphones. I don't want to do white because it's like too sterile, but then they have this like fake wood one. So I'm leaning towards this. I'm gonna get ready and go and see what they look like in real life. I have not been to Ikea and I don't even know how long. I also decided this morning that I have so much to do in the ADU that I'm just going to show it to you unfinished. <laughs> I feel like it would be fun to watch it all come together. So bear with me. Let me get my bag and go to Ikea. I wound up getting this toilet plun uh, cleaner. You just put in here, I feel like it's always, oh, we have a Toto. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I feel like it's always nice for guests to have that just in case they leave a skid mark and then they can clean it away. This is what I got. I feel like it matches the floors like completely. It was the last one they had, so I took that as a sign because I was having a hard time deciding between the black one, black brown, and the more like natural wood one. I don't know, I think this looks good with everything in here. So welcome to our little house. I can't open this. Maybe you can. 
And then this is our little set for only friends. If you haven't watched like any of the new episodes, they are all filmed in here. I spent <laughs> so much time at Ikea. I was there for like an hour and a half and I only got these two things because I was just looking at everything. I went um, and looked at all of the closets because I think for the closet, that we're gonna be doing. I think we're gonna use an, the Ikea pack storage system. And I wanted to see what it looked like in real life. You literally have to just do this with this screw. That really hurts. Do you do it down all the way? Like, these are the directions they give you. Thank you, Ikea. Helpful, so helpful. It always hurts my forearms doing like twists like this. This is gonna be perfect. Please be strong enough, you little $12 beauty, you. Manifesting strength and that it fits. <laughs> I measured the space last night and there's like 26 inches there. And I think this said it was 21, so it should be fine. already. <laughs> I mean, I think it's perfect. What do you think? It works. It totally works. You might still be able to see that, but cute. Next thing is I got all of this silverware. It's like black stainless steel from Target. I want to keep this in this house and then just take all of our old silverware and put it in the ADO. So let's do that. It's nice because, I mean, it stinks because we have to keep buying new stuff to, you know, furnish this place. And like, we don't really like have to, but it's so nice. We had people over here on Sunday for football and just being able to literally walk from right there to use the bathroom and use this kitchen space. Next on my to-do list is fix this. <laughs> we have so many linens and things that I just like need to get rid of and stuff I need to put into the ADU. So I'm going to do that now so we can make some room in here and that'll be it. Here we go. Okay. These ones, garbage, which is so sad. We have had these for my gosh, at least six years, five, before pandemic, they're just not really good anymore. Um, oh God, I'm gonna have to get the ladder. Things that I really want to bring into the ADU are like the beach towels because TJ uses them practically every day to do the cold plunge. So that will be a bit more accessible and I don't really have to worry about them being in this closet. And I'm gonna make a little area in there where he can just grab them. Oh my God, these pillowcases. These are from my first apartment when I moved to LA. <laughs> I'm a hoarder. I have not used these and I couldn't even tell you how long. They're done. I wish I could donate these things, but you, they don't really want used sheets. Four of these pillowcases. How many do I have? Oh, this I can bring out in there. It's be like a cute hand towel for the bathroom out there. Got these so long ago. I love these sheets from Brooklinen so much, but they are falling apart because we use them so much. These ones could literally go into the trash can, but I will not be doing that because we are obsessed with them. They're like kind of like flannel adjacent. I love them. What's this? This is another set that I have. I think we'll use this one in the ADU and then I will pair it with this white sheet because this set of quince doesn't have sheets and then more of these white pillowcases if I can find one. We have so many sheets! Uh, more pillowcases. This is also another set from Brooklinen. I'll put these ones up top. Then towels. I feel like I can put these parachute ones that are old out in the ADU. They're still nice. TJ and I use them but I got a new set of parachute thinking that the color would match the color of the tile in the bathroom, but it doesn't. So I'd rather just use white. And then that's pretty good. 
Up top, top, top is curtains, which I'll probably sell, and then bathrobes, which I might bring over to the ADU too. So like if people shower, they can have a little bathrobe because me and TJ don't really use them. I wanna do it by what's most accessible. This is the mattress topper that I got for the couch. I have no idea where this will live when it is opened up, but certainly not here. I might even just like move it right now because I'd rather utilize these shelves for something else. I feel like things that are things that we use the most, I should put in first. That will be good. You can just grab it from right there. Then I have this like outdoor blanket that we use. I'll put on the top. Okay, this is perfect. I have a couple more of these and another one of these. And then this will just be like our bonus room for that. And then there's a drawer and it has the hand towels. And honestly, I can fit another one of these right here. So I think this is great extra towel storage. It's perfect because I don't really think we're gonna need to put anything underneath here. So this works for me. Now I have this whole shelf basically. This needs to obviously be organized down here, but I love that, perfect. Mm -hmm. 